The highly controversial reality television series 90 Day Fiancé follows the life and exploits of couples from different countries as they try to make it work and get married in a time span of 90 days so they can earn work visas and stay in America for various different reasons. Over the course of the show, many couples and their stories turned out to be mind-blowing. So like the video, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned as we check out some of these situations. The one couple that had many of you scratching your heads was 58-year-old Mark and 19-year-old Nikki, who was weirdly enough younger than Mark's daughter. The couple met online through a dating service and Mark eventually had Nikki shipped from the Philippines to America, but things quickly became weird once she arrived. Mark came off as a control freak and a creep on the show, but the two got married nevertheless. The way he was portrayed on the show, however, didn't sit well with Mark, so he went on to sue Discovery Communications, TLC's parent company. The lawsuits were thrown out by the judge and the couple quickly disappeared from the public eye and the internet. Since their social media accounts have been deactivated, not much is known about their current status, but according to some reports, they are still together, which is nothing short of mind-blowing and mind-boggling, taking everything into account. Now, this couple met on Facebook through mutual friends, but when Fisa appeared on the show, she caught pretty much everyone by surprise by revealing her intent, which was money, 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 and of course, money. According to her, when George asked her to come to the States, he promised her a boatload of things. He promised he would get her whatever she wanted throughout the show. She demanded that George buy her luxury cars, expensive dresses, and while straight out saying that she was only with George for his money. Much to everyone's surprise, the two got married, but hit a bump in the road when George was forced to go to prison and be sentenced to two and a half years in prison for transporting 300 pounds of high-grade marijuana. Nevertheless, George stated that Anfisa had been very supportive throughout the entire thing and that he doesn't see them parting ways anytime soon, which is also mind-blowing and mind-boggling. In contrast to all the baffling and questionable couples on the show, we have Danny and Amy, who turned out to be pretty normal, which on the other side of the spectrum is still kind of mind-blowing. Now, the couple met and fell in love during a Bible study trip in Australia, and soon enough, Amy moved from South Africa to America to marry Danny. Now, Danny's family didn't give her the warmest welcome, as Danny's father had some issues with the interracial marriage and the color of Amy's skin. Still, the couple simply ignored those concerns, got married, and moved to Texas. They eventually had two children who they raised, named Jedediah and Donna. Overall, the couple turned out to be pretty normal, which is actually nice to see, but definitely not something that we're used to seeing on 90 Day Fiance. Now, back in season five, we met David, a man in his late 40s who was down in his luck. His life turned upside down when he went to visit Thailand, where he met a nice woman. Though the couple almost immediately decided to get married, as they really clicked and things started off quite nicely. They had one big problem, and that was overshadowing their happiness by having financial struggles. When they get to the United States, the couple met with David's best friend Chris and his wife Nikki for a rooftop dinner as David revealed he and Annie would be staying with Chris and Nikki upon their arrival to the States. As it made sense since he didn't own an apartment, a car, or even a United States bank account. And it seemed really cool of Chris and Nikki to help David out. But soon things took a turn for the bazaar. Danny was asked if she would be willing to help cook around the house and she said she wouldn't be able to. <clears throat> Danny was asked if she would be willing to help around the house with things like cooking because she wouldn't be able to find work during her 90 day stay in America and he seemed to have no problem with that but she was more shocked when Chris went too far and out of nowhere asked if she would be down with giving tiny massages while he lounges by the pool and it seems really low and dirty to ask your best friend fiance to do something like that and naturally both Chris and Nikki took a lot of backlash before they revealed that it was actually the show's producer who told Chris to ask Annie about the massage. And that's how we wrap up today's video. Make sure you leave a like on the video. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and we'll see you in our future videos.